What is up guys and welcome back to another raid Shadow Legends video with me the real deal. So Live Arena is just around the corner and today we are going to be looking at all the champions that you guys should be investing in. I've got quite a big list to get through so we'll start cracking on in a minute. If there is anyone that you feel that I've missed off please drop a comment below uh, but these are the ones that I think are the creme de la creme. Um, so let's start off with Nukas first everyone's favorite place to go to start with. Um, so I do feel that glass cannon nukas will drop off. So like Constantine, yeah, he can hit, but he has no survivability and he's very easy to kill and counter. Um, so champions that are HP based, defensive based, or have any sort of mechanic that give them survivability, I do feel they will really excel in live arena. So Magna is an a, excellent example of a HP epic champion that you can just stack loads of HP on to give him loads of survivability. But then he can also dish out the damage as well with his A2, which absolutely slams. Um, definitely someone worth investing for Live Arena. Another great example is Candrophon. Um, so he has got that survivability mechanic from his passive, which means he gets perfect veil um, and basically can't be targeted. And then he can just turn around and just drop the entire team with his A2. Next on the list, we've got Liores, who's someone that I pulled recently. Great champion, um, just absolute beast, like just hits really hard. But what really makes him strong is that it's hard to CC him, but also he's passive of that unkillable like skull crown. And the more he gets hit as well, the more damage he's going to do as well. So he's another great champion who will really excel in live arena. Um, champions that I feel will drop off any sort of single target champions like Baracus, Rotos. Um, really easy to count with, uh, well, we'll get into that later, actually. Next on the list, we've got a champion that I don't think anyone's expecting to be on here, and it is Samson. He's a new legendary champion, um, a HP-based champion. Hits really hard, but it's because of his passive, he has a very good chance to counter-attack the enemy. And with his counter-attack on his A1, has a really good chance of throwing out stun on the enemy team. Um, so he could be really strong, and I definitely can see him getting some playtime in live arena. And last on the list, we've got a new Void Legendary Champion um, who is Taras. Um, he's just really strong. Um, another HP-based champion. But it's because of his passive that he reduces damage that um, he receives from the enemy. And, you know, you can just pair him up with someone like a Duchess. And having that reduced damage is just, he's just so strong in the arena right now. And he will definitely be strong in live arena as well. So next up, we're going to move on to Revivers. Um, so I know Duchess is just a very, very strong champion no matter where you put her in the game and she will still be strong in live arena. Um, what makes her so strong is just being able to have that reviving the whole team and putting Perfect Veil on them. Um, it is just so strong and, you know, they can't be targeted. She'll take the hits and your team will be able to just do work against the enemy. And yeah, what else can you say? She is what she is. She is strong. Um, I think one champion that's going to be a bit of a surprise is Cardinal. So I feel that bomb champions won't be so strong in live arena because people probably will be bringing in cleanse champions. I really feel that cleanse champions are going to be a real key to live arena. So not um, so Cardinal in stone skin will probably still be very, very strong in live arena and even stronger than she is in 3v3 or classic arena because she's very easy to counter. Um, but because of the way that live arena is going to be i think that you know you are going to be able to sort of get around and be able to still use her and having that aoe revive with the instant turn, you know everyone basically gets to go instantly it is still going to be very very strong so next on the list we've got um pytheon who's a very new fusion champion legendary uh, very similar to duchess also has an aoe revive um, but increases the turn meter of your team and also puts on strengthen, which is going to give you, you know, your team survivability as well. Um, also has a really nice passive um, with resistance as well. So if you want to build like a go second team, uh, Pytheon is definitely going to be your answer for that. And I definitely feel that go second teams are going to be very, very strong in the arena. Um, also has a very similar passive to Duchess. His isn't quite as strong because you have to get the debuffs out first. 
um, where Duchess just automatically just straight out has it, but it's still very, very strong. So after revisor, Revivers, let's talk about um, Cleansers. So one of my favorite uh, Cleansers is Elva, um, relatively new champion, and she is so strong, um, great for so much content. Also has a single target revive. Um, I like to build a really, really fast with lots of resistance so she can cycle for abilities. Um, and, you know, she has a um, single target revive on a three turn cooldown. Very, very strong. Um, her A2 is a cleanse and also places block debuffs and increased speed. Really, really strong ability. And she also throws out a lot of healing. Such a great champion. Definitely see her getting a lot of playtime in live arena. Uh, uh, another classic champions from Barbarians, uh, one of the OG um, cleansers, Sky Touch Shaman. Stick her in an immunity set and she is good to go. And yeah, basically the enemy team will go and then she will cleanse and put out block debuffs and revive and death. Really, really strong. Great, great cleansing champion. Uh, and then we've got uh, a new champion, or relatively new, that you can, everyone can get her, their hands on her. Of course, we're talking about Mithrala, an amazing, amazing cleanser. It's almost impossible to CC her because of her passive. Just stack defense, um, defense, and um, sorry, defense. They just stack resistance and accuracy on her, and she will just have so much resistance that no one can control her. Um, has a really, really nice um, cleanse that also puts out strengthen and shields. And her A2 is really strong with that hex ability. And if the enemy hit you, there's a very good chance that you're going to be able to put petrification on them and they're not going to be able to do anything. So not only is she going to cleanse, but she also provides CC for your team as well. She is going to thrive in live arena, I'm telling you now. Um, and then another champion... Um, that is sort of a nuka as well, or can be used to nuka. Riho, um, great, great support champion. Even though it says she should support, um, she is sort of can be used as a nuka and she will do lots of damage for you. But yeah, another great cleanser. Block debuffs as well. Also, she loves to throw out loads of debuffs on the enemy. Um, and yeah, she can, she can drop heads. She is a strong, strong option for live arena as well. So next we're going to talk about strippers and uh, CD champions, so cooldown champions. Um, so first on the list, we've got one of the strongest champions in the game, another demon spawn. Who are we talking about? Of course, it's Prince Kaimar. So not only can he remove all buffs and put the enemy team to sleep, which is great. This means that you can make your nukas slower. Um, he also has a speed aura resistance as well. Uh, Speed or resistance, no. He has a speed or a lead as well. So that's going to help and make sure that you get to go first. He'll put the enemy team to sleep. You guys will, you know, your team will do all your abilities. Then he resets your skills, increases turn meter, um, and then everyone gets to go again. Just solid, solid champion. Next on the list, we've got Yumiko, another great uh, CD champion. So basically, she puts the enemy's um, skills on cooldown then resets your champion's turns as well. Also has Hex as well, which can be useful. But yeah, really, really great champion. And she also places Perfect Veil on herself, so she can't be targeted. Really, really annoying champion to go against in the arena. Um, then we've got um, a very old school champion, but still one of the best champions in the game for arena. Of course, it's none other than Warlord Champion. Just being able to put the enemy's skills on cooldown is just amazing. It goes for all types of abilities. So if they've got block debuffs or stone skin, it doesn't matter. He's going to lock them down and then your team can cut in and do what you need to do. Uh, it will just make their nukas useless. He is just such a strong champion. And not only does he have that, but he also puts out big fat shields and block debuffs as well. Just an amazing champion. So this is a champion that everyone can get. Of course, it does take a little bit more work. You need to be able to get into gold for 3v3. But Romantu, I definitely will be strong for Live Arena as well. Um, being able to remove Stone Skin and any sort of like buffs that the enemy have, just stripping those away, then throwing out block active skills, block passive skills is just such a strong ability. And um, he also has loads of um, debuffs he can throw out as well and his A2. 
and his A1 is also very strong as well. Just a solid, solid champion. And last up on the strippers, we've got another champion from Skinwalkers, and that is Uko, another fusion champion, also known as Pumba. Um, just being able to strip buffs uh, and also put out block buffs is very, very strong and decreased accuracy as well. Really underrated ability. But also, of course, you can build him nice and tanky as well. So he can also revive your team and he also puts out block damage for one turn. He is also just going to really do work for you in live arena. So I do feel that um, speed champions are going to lose their value in arena. So Arbiter, Lissandra, Lady Kimmy, champions like that are going to be really easy to counter. So if you have like, for example, a Tormund, um, you know, he's going to be able to slow down or freeze the enemy team when they boost turn meter or put on buffs. There's a very good chance that he's going to freeze them. Um, other champions that can cut in or disrupt the enemy team. Hegemon is still going to shine. Um, really interesting champion because you can build him two ways. You can either go really fast with lots of accuracy and put him in like a, you know, like daze or stun or provoke set. To control the enemy so it can be crowd control we can go nukimon both are really good options i think i would actually rather go nukimon um, and to, like have nukimon as my damage dealer and then three support champions around him um, but there's both still really good options and basically his passive is that he will always go first unless there's another hegemon then it comes down to speed and yeah it can hit really really hard um, and yeah, and a really good cutting champion is Yoshi. I use this guy all the time. And has like a really unique passive. So basically, every time the enemies or enemy uh, receive a buff, he gets his turn meter boost. Then he cuts in with his A3 and throws out. Well, he increases that accuracy. And then he throws out True Fear. Just such a great champion. And True Fear is not a... Is not a uh, not a CC that you want to have on your team. So yeah, such, such a good champion. Uh, and definitely feel that um, support champions are going to be really, really important. Um, a really great counter that I think a lot of people will have is Ultimate Death Knight. Um, if you've got him, I would definitely recommend, uh, recommend using him. Just being able to, you know, any if they've got any sort of single nukers like Rotos or Mountain King, or Baracus, you know, he's just going to make them absolutely useless and he's going to take all that damage. Um, definitely want to build him in stone skin though. Um, but yeah, he's going to be another solid choice. Uh, so we've got another barbarian on the left list. Can you guess who it is? It is Usaga. Um, yeah, so just she just reduces the damage that from the other team and she takes it all. Um, just really great survivability to keep your nukers going. Um, and she has like a whole bunch of abilities like ally protection, strengthen, just really reduces the damage that the enemy team can do against you. Also throws out some really cool debuffs as well. Decrease uh, crit damage, decrease attack, decrease speed, decrease defense. Just such a solid champion. I do know she is like, I know there's a lot of uh, Void legendary on here. Unfortunately, they are the strongest champions. Um, and I am trying to try and be as diverse as I possibly can. Uh, unfortunately, the next champion is also another Void Legendary that I don't have. Uh, Necred, just such a solid champion. You can pretty much pair him up with any Nuka and you're going to have a solid team. Um, I also feel like, um, for example, like Nukimon and Necred is going to be like a great option. Um, so basically, he has like a really cool passive where he puts block debuffs, ally protection and strengthen on them. Uh, and basically, they just can't do anything for to them until they kill Necred or you need to bring like double nukers and stuff but yeah such solid such a solid choice um and yeah pretty much most people just build him in stone skin yeah and they're not gonna be able to touch a nuka why he just you know gets the job done and just get an easy w so next on the list another champion that i feel that a lot of people should have dark elf uh lydia um so she's just such a great champion um, you can build a really loads of different ways. You can either go high resistance or hybrid build. So lots of resistance and lots of accuracy. Um, great A2. So throws out uh, drop defense and weaken on the enemy. 
uh, but also puts on strength and, and increased speed on your team so it gives you lots of survivability but i think the thing that really gives her or really makes her annoying is her passive and that is basically um if you kill their new car they've got a squishy new car then you know and they've got an arbiter arbiter revives she blocks it and she revives champions on your team just she will definitely be really good and annoying option to have in live arena and a champion that i think quite a few people will be quite surprised to see on the list um brogney um very old school fusion one of my favorite champions in the game uh in the game uh great for so much content um just building with lots of hp lots of speed and as much resistance as you can and he is just so annoying to go against um it's partly because of his passive so basically if there's any shields um so for example if he had a bolster set that'd be really good unfortunately my bolster gear is pretty pretty rubbish so i can't use it but um if you do have a really good bolster set definitely worth using him in a go second team um yeah basically if anyone's got a shield on them he will reflect damage and i've come against this many times in 3v3 where i bring in my constantine he does loads of damage he does his double aoe hit on his um a3 i think no a2 um and then basically on the second hit my constantine's already dead because the shields are reflected damage back to him so yeah great great champion and if you build him with loads of hp he's gonna be put big fat shields on your team but also block debuffs really really powerful skill just another solid option so we talked about supports uh cutting champions strippers um cleansers nukers revivers so and also just talk about champions that i feel that are going to lose some value so uh rotos i feel like he's gonna be so easy to count i i feel like a lot of people will be, will be running like um ultimate death knight uh bomb champions as well i just feel that cleansers are gonna be really necessary for live arena so bomb champions will definitely lose their value um and like i said as well Speed champions like Arbiter, Lady Kimmy, Lissandra, they're going to be so easy to counter. Um, and yeah, they're just really going to lose their value. Um, and another champion that I think people are going to be quite surprised, I think Madame is not going to be as strong in live arena because you need, you need like a speed champion so you go first, so she gets to do her abilities. And if there's all sorts of ways to counter speed champions, of course, speed champions will still be good lower tier and like mid tier but i think if you're going to be in like gold live arena you're not going to be using your speed champions as much they are definitely going to be so easy to counter but yeah if madame doesn't have like an arbiter and she's not going first she's pretty useless um so if you lock her out she's not really going to be able to do anything um so yeah i definitely feel like she's not going to have as much value as the like other champions that can strip um but she's still a good champion. I might be wrong. We'll have to see what happens when it comes along. But yeah, I'd love to know what champions do you think are going to be really strong for Live Arena. And how do you guys think the system's going to be? But yeah, so I've been The Real Deal. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.